goal we had. Mm. Out of, uh, I think he was uh, he was uh, disappointed that he lost the primaries. Unfortunately, he couldn't smack it. I think you know there are some people who think uh, that they own the things. That's, that's, that, that's what I can say because I don't see where losing an election would make someone pull out a gun, a whole minister. And I think, and Rukutana has been, is it, uh, the deputy attorney general, can you mind, I, I mean, can you imagine someone who should, who, who should be the embodiment of law pulling out a gun and shooting someone? So the conditions under which it happened, that is, it was out of election violence. Put doubt a gun, and it's all over been social media and shot. The good thing is, he's already been arrested, so there is nothing much we can say about that. It's good he's, he's, uh, he's been arrested, and he's going to face justice. The law is going I can't. I, I, I can't say the, the cause, how the, the, the how the things are going, the, the turn of events. What I know and what you should take that he has been arrested. So if something already, someone is already under with police, we can't make much comment out of it. We can only wait, but we know he's under arrest. Yes. And uh, on the on the on the question of uh, seeing what happened in these primaries, and therefore anticipating that in the forthcoming elections we are likely to have a lot of violence, I would say that yes or no, but for one fact is that we are prepared as security forces to make sure that there is minimal. I may not say that it will, may, it will not be there 100%, but we want to make sure that it is minimized as much as possible. We have prepared. The forces are being taken through its own sensitization on how it's going to, to conduct itself. We are adding on. Uh, on police, they are going to train more to join the police force for that, for that period, for at least a period of six months, before and after. So I'm, I'm sure that we are well prepared. And the reason why we are preparing is to make sure that we minimize occasions of violence as much as possible. Yes, we want to make sure that we don't shed blood in just elections. It's something that comes, go and it goes. And the, the, the country continues. So we want to make sure that there is stability, nothing interferes, first of all, with the election. We want to make sure there is peace during the election. We want to make sure that everyone go, goes to vote with no fear, with no intimidation. So we are prepared for it, for whatever. I had out a candidate that was you, never took a party. I has you. I have a passer at home to send you. We have to make a great time to know the genetic democratic for your young Italian child. What's the matter for the insolvent? Mukasa, the result is all temporary. So, we are going to say that we are going to put it on. Ejinjoka <laughs> Basically, saying of plan B, but like you are saying, we are ready. 
we are ready for his plan. We don't know what it is, but he's saying of plan B, and, uh, and we, we've had him several times, several. Remember, from the other election, he, there are a lot of things he did, walk to work, def defiance campaign and that kind of thing. It, uh, it didn't take him anywhere. We remained, and even up to now, his plan B, we are ready, we are, re we are waiting. We, are, we, are, we are definitely shall not sit by. We are, but we are waiting, and we are a, a force that is uh, mandated to make sure Ugandans are safe, to make sure Uganda is stable. Nothing is going to interfere with that stability. Nothing is going to interfere with the peace that Ugandans need most. So as a force, we are ready, and we've always been ready. Madam, we know it very well that there is no friendship between